Colombia. Bueno, aquí está el gorrito del pelado. El ¿Cómo está, maestro? Oye, te rigas. Aquí voy a la... Lately. How could I look well? I haven't been able to sleep. That rotten car is driving me. Pippi! Has it occurred to you that it may not be the rotten car? Perhaps it's the way Mr. Douglas drives. Balderdash. There isn't a driver in the world who can get that speed out of a car like that. No, he's done something to it. And I've got to find out what! You've become obsessed by this whole thing. There are other cars, other races. Why don't you just forget it? <laughs> My dear child, how little you know me. Yes, Mr. Thorndyke. Carol? How long have you been with us? A year and a half, almost two. Why? You know, I'm afraid I've been a little remiss in not telling you long before now how very well you proved in all your duties. Oh, well, thank you. And Carol, as I realize you have the best interests of this organization at heart, I want you to accede to a somewhat unusual request. Oh? Peter Thorndyke. It's for you. All right, you can take it here. Thank you. Yes, good afternoon. Oh, I think that should be quite all right. Uh, 7.30 will be fine. Yes, uh, bye. I think I'll... I'd like you to you. see this Douglas fellow. Get to know him. Who knows? If he has the talents of which I believe him capable, perhaps we can give him the opportunity of joining our organization, racing under our colors. But first, we must know something about him. How about tonight? Very good. At 7.30? Very good. Why waste time? Oh, and Carol, another thing. Leave your car. Take the special. He likes that one. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> I think I ought to tell you that that was Mr. Douglas who just called. Excellent. Strike while the iron is hot. In all honesty, I should like to point out that I agreed to have dinner with him before you suggested it. I salute your honesty, my dear. A quality not necessarily to be despised. Thank you. A very loyal girl. <laughs> <laughs> 